السلام عليكم guys in this video we will talk about clean code tips that may every new Laravel developer or even junior developers may make this bad practice and even I did it when I started writing Laravel code so let's start as we can see here we have this method update it validates and then finds a post and update the post data and here my endpoint it's a post method and update the first thing here we must not validate inside controllers so instead of that we must validate inside form request so we will open our terminal here and i will say php artisan make request and as its name suggests we can follow this name update post request and as we can see here it's generated let's open it and inside our rules array we will move rules from here to update post request first of all before that let's test it using sander client i will send this request and it success and now as you can see here data updates successfully now let's use the update post request and don't forget if you don't have any authorization method or logic we must set it to true and now let's remove it let's remove it also and we will say update post request here for example let's write in a sync and if i back and send a request again as we can see here works correctly also the second tip here we use post method for update but when we update we must use put method for best practice but for example if you have file uploading or images that will be uploaded for this method we can continue using post right in case if we have file uploading but we don't have it then for best practice we would use put method and now i will use put instead of post works also then as we can see here we wait from the front end they will send everything inside the form request but instead of that we can use URL parameters to handle it so we can remove it from here and as a second parameter inside our controller we will say please give me a post post id and inside our URL I will define it also as post and this will return post object so instead of that it will return the post directly now let's back and test again don't forget we will add the post id that we want post id number one and we removed it from validation so i want to remove it also from the payload here refresh works correctly and then instead of using objects properties or attributes here we can use post update method also so we can see post update and we will access only to the validated keys so i will say post or request using validated method to return the array of keys title content user id and its value which comes from this payload right back and test it again let's open our post or model and i will say guarded it will be empty send request again and work is correctly one last thing also if this user id that we sent is the current authenticated user we can make a small authorization action action here so i will say current authenticated user id must be the post user id post user id we can use this from where it comes because we pass it inside the update controller it will be accessible inside our update post request or form request generally so i will save it and i will remove it from here and also i will remove it from the payload send we have a small error here it must be equal equal send again because the current user is not authenticated so it will throw 403 forbidden let's make it more clear <clears throat> i will say return the current authenticated user id and die and dump it's null so let's log in quickly i will say us login using user id number one i will simulate it 
and I will remove the undone from here. Send it again and saved successfully. Let's test it from scratch. I will change title and also change content. Save it and I will change it to post title and the post content. Send, refresh and work is perfectly. So we cleaned this method from this to this. If you found it useful, support me by clicking on like, share and subscribe. See you next videos.